Happy Friday night and thank you for joining us here at MTN News. I'm Patrice Parks. Kevin Stanfield is off tonight. After less than 24 hours, President Trump has come and gone from Montana. The president headed east to north in South Dakota to make his mark at rallies for other Republican candidates. But first, he sat down to talk with MTN News. In this MTN exclusive, the president responds to questions on agriculture, a divided America, and the new book Fear by Bob Woodward. They're a little bit nervous, but they have confidence in me. They have trust in me. We're opening up barriers. You see what I'm doing with Canada as an example. Canada has not treated us well. And uh, big barriers, uh, they pay, uh, you know, there's a 300%, think of it, 300% tariff if you sell dairy products into Canada. We're saying we're not playing this game anymore. They have a tremendous, you know, if we look at our surplus with Canada, it's not a surplus. It's a huge deficit. So we're changing and we're being tough and uh, let them be tough. But we're making, we're opening up countries. We're opening up the EU, that's Europe. We're opening up, uh, probably we're going to be opening up China. We're in a big, big fight with China. What They're I love about the folks in Montana, and they are important to you, uh, but what I like about the folks in Montana, they know it's not right what's been happening for many years. The level of hatred, the level of animosity, it's hard to believe. So if I was going to say there's any one problem in this country, it is definitely that you have two sides and there's great division. And there shouldn't be that division. But it seems no matter what you do, no matter how good, look, wages are going up, such a big thing. Numbers are great. The stock market's at an all-time high. There's more people working in the United States today than ever before. Think of that. Ever before. We have more people working. African-American employment, you know, as you know, is, is doing great. Uh, Asian employment, Hispanic employment, women's employment, every single, every single stat is fantastic. The only thing, you hit it, the only thing that troubles me is when you see an economy doing so well, a country doing so well, and yet there's this level of division and hatred, and that's a shame, and maybe we can do something about it. I hope so. I'm quoted as a fool, because if you look at the way, I don't speak that way. I'm highly educated. I went to the Wharton School of Finance. I, I don't speak that way. They're giving quotes. Now, if these quotes even exist, I don't know. Uh, do they make them up or what? They say they got them from a lot of people. Now, General Mattis, who's highly respected, said he never said that. And he gave the most beautiful uh, renunciation of the book. General Kelly, the same thing. He said, I never said that. And he gave. And if you look, many of my cabinet people, many of the people that were quoted said they never said that. They never said that. And I actually said in the tweet this morning, I said, look, if I spoke that way, I'd never be president. Meteorologist Carson Vickroy joins